Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm just making the third video of this Grow Watt Transformer here. I wanted to um, just basically, like I said in the previous videos, if you guys have been following along, um, make a video showing what its idle consumption is from the battery packs. Uh, so that way if you guys can kind of figure out if this is the transformer that you want to use in your system. Um, a little bit of wiring got done. Uh, this isn't the final configuration that I want to use on these batteries. I just kind of wired this like this just to get the video out, just to get it hooked up and make sure everything worked. Uh, so right now the transformer, I'm sorry, the inverter is on. You got about 52.9 incoming volts and it's putting out about 240 volts here. Um, so there is nothing being used, no power consumption. And right now the inverter alone is pulling about 1.29, about 1.3 amps from the batteries um, again uh, nothing is powered right now this output circuit breaker is off there's nothing going to the house uh, and this is the transformer circuit breaker it is off right now so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on so kind of like the solar edge transformer there is the slightest hum I don't know if you guys can hear it or not it is hardly even noticeable um, but there is a very, very small hum. The fans from the inverter definitely drown out any kind of hum that comes out of this, so you won't have any issues with that. One thing that I'm kind of concerned with this, if you pull a lot of amps from it, put a lot of power through it, I'm kind of worried about heat dissipation. I know the Solar Edge uh, transformer had some of those uh, heat dissipating fins in the back, so it'll be interesting. I'll kind of keep an eye on this to make sure that it doesn't overheat. I have some infrared thermometers and stuff that will kind of give me a temperature if I do choose to run some high amperage things off off of this system which I'm not quite doing right now again this is only for my personal battery backup I do not have any solar running off this system the only thing I have power coming into this is from a generator just to charge the batteries um, the only time I'm going to use the system right now is just purely for battery backup if the grid goes down I can fire up the generator charge up these batteries uh, have power overnight and in the morning if I need to fire the generator back up and, and recharge the battery so so right now with the transformer on and the inverter it's pulling about one 1 1.6 amps from the battery so I'll do some calculations that way you guys know uh, exactly how many watts it is I'm sure you could do some calculations as well so right now what we're watching is I'm going to go ahead and shut the transformer off and we go back to about 1.3 amps that it's pulling from the battery so um, again I, I, I'm not sure in the in the grand scheme of things how much power that is actually using from the batteries uh, I am going to do some trial runs where I charge the batteries completely and power the system on and just power my refrigerator and see how long these 248 volt batteries and everything in its entirety will power my refrigerator so stay tuned for that um, I'm hoping to get something around the ballpark of four days. I'm sure you can do the calculations uh, pretty quickly and figure out exactly how long these batteries will last, but I kind of want to do a real world test to see exactly how long these batteries will keep my refrigerator running in the event of a power outage. So, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, comments, just let me know. Um, I'll be sure to answer them. If you guys are interested in the way I did my system, uh, I'm going to make another video soon. That way you guys can see uh, why I did what I did and why I chose to do it like this. Again, I do tr I do plan on getting some solar panels um, this summer. I don't have, I'm not in a rush to get them. I was in a rush to get the battery back up. I do have a generator that I can uh, plug in and power my system, but I'll make another video about that. So if you guys have any questions about this transformer, just let me know. It's working. Uh, it's It's you know, for two two leads, I'm getting 120 volts on each lead or each tail end of, of the inverter. So everything is working appropriately. I have no uh, concerns about it. It is powering the things that I've wired in the house. Um, so again, I'll make another video about that. If you guys are interested, just uh, follow me or, or uh, keep, uh, keep an eye out for my next video. So, all right. Thanks, guys.